Raleigh is a bubbling place with thousands of people moving here every year, which has brought along with it a lot of new cuisine. One of my favorite changes in the food scene is the introduction of bubble milk tea. You see, I lived in Taiwan for a few years, which is the home of bubble milk tea. And while I was there, I became addicted. I probably had over 100 milk teas. And when I moved to Raleigh, I couldn't find any good tea places. But now, there's about 10 right near my house. So I'm going to review them, and I'm gonna let you know what is the best bubble milk tea in Raleigh. I'm also gonna have a few friends help me out. Hey, I'm Shane. And I'm Nate. Okay, and tell these people why they should trust your opinion on bubble milk tea. Ah, well, I'm from Oklahoma, which if you didn't know, is where Taiwan got this whole milk tea idea from. And I have an undergraduate in milk and a PhD in tea. Fair enough. Let's go to the first place. Here's our rating system. Looks, taste, and tapioca. Looks is the overall aesthetic. If you're gonna be caught drinking bubble milk tea, you have to look good doing it. Second is taste. Do they have quality tea and milk that they're mixing together? Last is tapioca, also known as boba or bubbles. We'll rank each category on a scale one to five, and I'll be the constant. I'll order a milk tea exactly how it comes. Kung Fu tea, first tea we're reviewing. Three, two, one. Oh, beautiful. All right, looks, I'm gonna give it out of five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a three. Based on the concavity of the actual topper itself, I would say that that's probably like a solid three as well. Can I give decimals? Sure. Two and a half. Two and a half. Tea to milk ratio. Mm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I think it's real milk. Real milk, real tea. <laughs> do Some places me? do like like fake milk. Do, like do, you, want to, milk? do you want me to like tell skim? you? Yeah. I don't think it's real milk. I think it's powdered milk. Kung Fu tea, if I'm wrong and you're watching this. Either way, I think it's still pretty good. All right, I'm gonna say it. Mm -hmm. It could be sweeter. Uh, it was a little bland. A little bland. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna say the opposite for the regular uh. milk tea. <laughs> I think it was a little too sweet for me. Oh yeah. Make sure you get your sips on. See, see again. <laughs> I think the tea flavor is kind of hidden amongst uh, the milk and the sweetness. I, I got to give it a two. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go with four. Okay. 3.3. That's so precise. Yeah. I do. Excuse me. It's a <laughs> quantitative process. What's really holding it back is, like I said, I think that tea flavor is just a little bit too hidden. Yeah. Last category. All right. Tapioca, because let's be honest, without the bubbles in this thing, we'd just be guys drinking milk and tea together, which, mm. is, which is pretty totally great. Weird. I've got a question for you guys before we start this. Yes. Is it oh. boba, bubbles? Or tapioca, like what is? Or pearls. Or pearls, oh my. I've heard okay. it like that. So what's what's the preferred or diction? Or heaven. <laughs> I don't know where you come from. Gotcha. Oklahoma. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're... Not too mushy, not too <clears throat> hard. They actually go up the straw really easily. You know, they're not sticking together. I'm I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say four. Hmm. I think that's the strongest thing about this tea, actually. I'm, I'm definitely a bigger fan of the boba than I am of the tea. I think it's like, it even carries some of the flavor, like the, the unique flavor of the tea itself. Yeah. So have you guys ever like taken a gummy bear and left it to soak in water all day? No. Yeah, neither have I. Um, so the way that I'd best describe these <laughs> is they have just enough resistance to let you really know that the bubbles are there. But they're 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 not so rigid that you lose a tooth or you really have to put in a lot of work to chew them. Wow, your standards are, are pretty low. <laughs> lose a tooth. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Hate it when that happens. <laughs> On to the next tea place. So our next place is Moji Tea. We got regular creme brulee. And I also got creme brulee. We're gonna let you know how they taste. If you could drink looks, I would drink the look of this tea. I love it. It's not a bad looking cup of tea. It's slim. We should note that this is not the seal cap. It's just a normal cap, so that can happen. That that marks off points in my look, boys. Really? Yes, it does. If it the, the sealability, I'm gonna lose my milk tea. True. Yes, true. but how often do you throw it up in the air? And <laughs> you you can never be too prepared. I just right? always pretend like I'm a Dairy Queen. Blizzard. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Three, two, one. I failed. Yeah, <laughs> that, was a little, is, that was oddly that was tricky. Cheers. Cheers. Moji tea. Here comes the review. Oh, oh. Mm. Oh. We never gave our one out of five for looks. I don't know. I'm thinking like a four. Extra points for the creme brulee. I'm actually going to drop down to a three because of the cap. So well, as an expert in Taekwondo, you know, I'd have to say, I, I think this is a healthy four right here. Now for taste. So the regular milk tea, 
It is not overpowering. I feel like it's a good blend. I give the tea a five in taste. Four, four and a half. Maybe 4.7. I think I'll 4. give it- 4.9. 4. 9. This is going up the more he, more he sips it. I think I'll give it a four and some change, like a 4.3. Oh. Oh. Same on the All right, I just got the top. Where the creme brulee is. Oh, flavor five. Oh, 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 flavor five. I feel like the tapioca is about what you'd expect. A three or something. Mm. I think I'd give it a 3.5. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it didn't have quite as many bubbles in this tea. I feel like Kung Fu tea, they really load you up with bubbles. I'd probably give the bubbles here probably about a three. You know, something we've been forgetting to measure. What's that? Measure the spitability. Oh no. Oh my. Not I bad. think that guy's gonna need insurance. All right, let's see if I can hit that lamppost. You can't see the lamppost on the video, but that'll be impressive. The camera is good. Whoa! <laughs> stuck it to it. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, I think you can see this. Let me zoom in. Look at that. That is impressive, isn't it? There, that, I mean, maybe the tapioca should have been higher in my rating really? because of that. On to the next one. On to the next one. Shop. All right, so because of the rain, we came to Nate Shane's place to test out Bumble Tea. Bumble. Oh, I got the Thai tea as usual. I got the classic milk tea. And I got the dirty milk tea. Looks. You know, as someone who lived amongst bees for three years, I actually really enjoy the honey tea. You lived among so, bees for three years? Yeah. Like he grew up among bees. Yeah. They, they took care of him. That's what I yeah. I do want to say, see that gap? I don't know if you can see that. My milk tea is definitely not to the top. Oh, I yeah. think you- And the uh, ice kind of takes up a, a good portion here at the top. I, I don't know that I'm sold on that. Yeah, hey, look at this gap. I got mine that's oh, no you, ice. You got a bigger gap. And they put ice in it and then took it back out. Oh, nice. That's your ice cap. Yeah. Boba game strong. I yeah. Boba game strong. It is. So we gotta give it a rating. One to five for looks. Nate, what say you? Uh, middle of the road. I'm gonna give it a three. I agree. Three. Zero. So. All right. Three. One. Zero. Oh, that was nice. Oh, way better than the looks. Mm. Way better than the looks. I think the fact that it looks so bad makes it taste better. I, mine is definitely more tea heavy over the milk. Which I think I like. Um, I think the milk tea ratio is pretty solid. I'm thinking like four out of five. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a four. So I'm gonna go with a four point one because just the way as it tastes now, I could imagine that without the ice melting, it would taste a whole lot better. Last but not least, the tapioca. I'm gonna give the tapioca a three. I don't think there's anything too special about it. I'd give it a four. Yeah, mm. I like the tapioca. I would say that these strawberry pearls, because <laughs> they're not really tapioca, are like the calamari. Of tapioca. I'd probably give them a solid four and a half. I don't think I've seen any other tea shop do something quite like this. Off to the next place. All right, so now we're in downtown Raleigh trying out a place. Not sure how to say the name of this place. Budokai. I asked, and it's Budasia. Did you actually ask? No. Okay. I'm gonna say Budasai just so we Budasai. all have <laughs> different. Say, this actually looks pretty cool. Look at this. We got. Some cool color profile going here. Good boba. I would like to mention that very little ice, which I enjoy. Well, I don't know whose idea it was to get Thai because this orange is so ugly. I mean, if I ordered a Tic Tac and they gave me this, I'd be very pleased. I got the taro tea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a four for looks. I'm just really happy they only put that much ice and it's still cold. Honestly, I'm gonna give it a two. I think I'll, I'll swing a four. Three, two, one. Oh. It's kind of, I got it with no ice, but it's like, it's almost like it's watered down. Mine's sort of tea heavy. Mine tastes a little bit like somebody took chai and then mixed it with rose hip and then diluted it a little bit. It's, it's refreshing, but it's really light. Like it, it doesn't have much flavor for me. I think I'm going to give it a, a three. I'm going to have to give it a two. It's, yeah, it's a very clear two. Uh, almost like kind of some sugar water with a little bit of tea flavor. I'm going to give them a five. What? Minus three. <laughs> Okay. So that's a two. And then the more I started drinking it, the more it just started taking like tasting like leaf juice. Which I guess tea is leaf juice. No, 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 no. <laughs> tea, tea is not leaf juice. The tapioca is really lackluster. <laughs> like the, the center is pretty firm. Mm. So it's kind of like annoying. It's it's not as delightful to chew. 
Yeah, the tapioca is probably a one, maybe a one and a half. Two and a half. I go one and a half. One and a half. Mm. All right, not strong. Milk lab. Milk lab. Coming at you. Uji matcha latte. I got the classic milk tea. Uh, I got the classic milk tea with the cranberry lay milk cap. Looks first. Brewing with love. Grass fed and organic milk. Premium tea leaves. I didn't know that milk ate grass. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You learn something new every day. You know, a picture's worth a thousand words. I don't think I really need to say anything else. That is a nice looking milk tea. Uh, I really do like the engineering and structural security of the cup itself. Like, I really feel like I could give this a good thrash. What happens if you throw it at the wall? And the tea. I want to drink it. Can no. I do the blizzard test like I did in the other time? <gasps> oh, oh, no! no. That's a point off. They put a seal, like an actual seal on the side of the tea. And it even gives you directions, like consume within two hours. And if you don't, well... <clears throat> I'm going to give the looks a five. I think that's the wow. first five I've given for it looks. It is, wow. I'm impressed. Even with the leaking cap? Yeah, it's, it's true. 4.5. Oh, no. <laughs> 4.5. I just love the sleek, tall, narrow option. Milk cap looks good on top. This one, it's a five. 100%. Five. I All right. No complaints about it. I think that's just great design. So that's a five for me as well. Three, two, one. Oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> so fresh. It's so refreshing. It's really good. I think there's a good balance between the milk and the tea. It's more so of like a sweet kind of creamy rich taste, mm. but I, there's like a little bit of tea in there. So maybe mm. if the tea taste was a little bit stronger. I have decided I love places that don't do ice. I, or, or very little ice because this has very little ice and so I get so much tea and yeah. it's not watered down, but they keep their milk and their tea cold. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Same. Solid four for me. I can tell this is grass fed and organic milk. It, it's tough giving anything a five. So maybe a four and a half, if not a five. I really, really do appreciate that the grass is milk fed. Like, I just cannot get over. No, I'm gonna go 4.2. It is a little bit on the firmer side, I think. It has more personality. It's, it's got more like stubbornness, more soul. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Four. 3.5. Four. We're gonna play Boba Roulette, ready? Yep. Get ready. Okay, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> Last milk tea that we are reviewing, Cha House. Looks. Yeah, do not put your straw in until you're ready to drink because it, your straw will basically melt. Paper straws at Cha House. I'm gonna give it a four. Well, I'd give it probably a three and a half. Um, the good is, yeah, the colors. The bad, not a big fan of uh, that kind of typical soda soft drink lids. So I'll go mm. 3.8. Three. Two, one, go. <laughs> Last one. Cheers. Ever. Taste of cha. It's really good. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's pretty sweet. It is sweet. I agree with that. Yeah. All right. It, it, <laughs> did, you just, did you just switch it? Oh, of course. Like a delicate sweetness, kind of airy. I really like the tea. I think there's a good mix of milk and tea in here. I'm gonna also give the taste a four. I think the tea is definitely the best part. I would give it overall three and a half. Um, ranking or pushing. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to like sipping and I always it. look over and <laughs> yeah. Nate's is like almost gone. Yeah, it's what like, aftertaste? Like, I don't know. I might have to go with like a 2.9 on this one. On to tapioca. Mm -hmm. The thing that definitely threw me off was that they're smaller tapioca. Mm -hmm. they're, they're like tapioca yeah, light. They, are they, are. Um, they go up the straw really easily. They do, they do go up the yeah. straw really easily. You would make a very fun shooting experience. <laughs> oh, that was cool. If you go back and watch the Moji Tea review, I'm pretty sure Nate did not realize it, but when I, when I did the shot the first time, the spray of my spit just went all over his face. There were casualties. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give them a four. I'll say four as well. I think I've been straight fours for this one. Probably gonna go three and a half, actually. So. Boys have made it. Mm -hmm. To the end. And now we will tell all these people what our favorite milk teas were. All right, my favorite was Moji tea. Uh, Moji tea, you need to get your branding on your cup. But yes, overall, I thought it tasted so good. I will go there a lot. Close second was Milk Lab though. Mm -hmm. Easy decision, Milk Lab, 100% mm. all the way. I mean, it's delicious. Uh, it looks so good, I and mean, look at it. Um, 
Moji was definitely a close second for me. I have to say my top number one is also Milk Lab. I'm a big fan of Milk Lab, and my close second is gonna be Kung Fu Tea for nostalgic purposes. Comment below what we should review next, or if we left out your favorite milk tea place, if we, if we don't have the top one here right now, please comment below and let us know what it is, and we will let you know if it's the best. Sound like a deal? Will we review it if people comment below? Absolutely. What if we get I like would... a thousand milk tea places? Oh, dang. Yeah. I will yeah. try all of them personally. Shane will try all of them. Nate and I might watch our health. We might join Shane. <laughs>